son Walker called and said he's coming home for Mother's Day and we're going to have a cookout and he's bringing some friends. Now he's bringing down the grass-fed beef from his ranch where he works and he wanted to know if I had anything in the garden that we could cook to go with it. And I thought it's a little between seasons, the tomatoes aren't up, the lettuce is gone, but I have cabbage. I can make coleslaw. You know I grew brassicas this year in pots so that I can maximize the sun or avoid the sun now really because I've got my cabbages kind of shaded. But the cauliflower bolted early, the kohlrabi bolted, uh, I just have a few beets left and six cabbages. <laughs> As for pests, Covering your brassicas in boil is not practical if you have a huge garden or farm. <laughs> but if you have a small space like me, it works great to prevent the cabbage moth from laying eggs which become cabbage worms which can decimate your cabbages and cauliflower and everything else. So it's great for that, but the other two big pests with brassicas are aphids which tend to come more towards the end of the season, thankfully, and slugs and snails. I had a little slug action, even though they're in pots. I know I have some aphids, but hopefully there's a couple of good cabbages in there. And I have some carrots, so coleslaw. <laughs> You have to be part contortionist to work in my garden. Okay, what I am seeing is a lot of aphids. And since we're at the end of the season of cool season vegetables, I'm just gonna cut my losses and take all this out and see what I've got. Feels hard, that's good. This is just a little dinky thing and this it's rather squishy that's covered in aphids and nothing and this one looks bad oh wow this is a first that looks absolutely horrible golly gee whiz Okay, but right next to it, we have a nice one. Uh, it's pretty hard. Okay, let's get to it. Sorry, aphids. You had all you're gonna get. And there's a lot of these crane flies. We've been infested with crane flies, which look like huge mosquitoes, but they don't bite. Yeah, it looks like there's aphids on the outside leaves of all of these, <laughs> except the ridiculous one. It looks disgusting. Should I leave this? I mean, come on. It's just like nothing there. This is absolutely covered in aphids. It looks like gray sand or something. But 
uh, upon closer inspection, you see they're all moving. This is the absolutely, utterly disgusting one. You see these beets didn't get any sun under there and they are the unlucky beneficiary of the, of the aphids. And this is one of the problems when you have small space and you want to grow more than you really have space for. Okay, this is the only real promising, well two promising ones. The thing is you can hose off these uh, aphids early on before they just take over. If you've got the space, you know, I just can't start hosing my garden. I'm debating on what to do with these because I don't want aphids to survive in my compost. <laughs> Keep clipping to run out of aphids. At this point, I'm going to give this a good wash and I think it'll be edible. <laughs> It's a pretty little rainbow beet. Those are tiny. Okay, I decided not to leave anything. Because there are just too many aphids and they're just going to proliferate. I have to say the whole effort to grow brassicas this year was a little disappointing, <laughs> to say the least. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't do it again because I absolutely love watching plants grow. And even though these were covered up under boil, they were really pretty <laughs> until you inspect closer. The question is, is this going to be enough cabbage? Whoa. <laughs> this one's kind of heavy and this one's kind of heavy. so. I think between the three of these, I've got a nice big bowl of coleslaw. <laughs> oh, and look what I just found. Oh, uh, where'd it go? Yeah, see? I told you I had some slug action. This is a surfed fly, which is a beneficial insect and they're flying around these two remaining kohlrabis and I'm wondering what they're looking for. There's plenty of aphids. I didn't realize until the plants were in the green bin and I was reviewing the footage that this was a female laying eggs. The adults feed on flower nectar, but the larvae prey on aphids. She was laying eggs where her babies would hatch to find plenty of aphids to eat. But unfortunately, I spoiled her plans. Just as I spoiled it for the ladybug trying to feed on cabbage aphids, sometimes we need to get out of the way because nature knows best. Just gave them a good soak in my plant-based dish soap water. And cleaned up. Refuse to be defeated by aphids. rather nasty. So. You really have to wash cabbages and cauliflower, you know, because they take so long to develop, anything can crawl in there. Heavy, so that has a good feeling. Uh -huh. 
there with the slug in the sink. in the filtered water. Thanks for watching.